signs, welcome to your five card draw. What do I need? Read for this new moon in Cancer to full moon in Capricorn, June into July uh, 2022. I am your reader, Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short. They're my initials. No great big mystery there. Professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998. It's 24 years in service, folks, bringing people together with spirit. I am the author of Words of Grace from a Professional Witch, available on Kindle. You can preview it with the link in the description box. Read the dedication to my mom. It's um, pretty heartwarming, I'm going to say, because it's authentic. And I am a creator on Patreon, patreon.com slash drawing the circle. Uh, oh, Melchior manifesting little black witch cats out of nowhere. Hi, baby. Hi, my Taurus, my baby boy, my baby bull. Uh, uh, best career move I ever made, patreon.com slash drawing the circle. Humans, heroes, angels, witches, immortals, gods, goddesses are my subscription tiers over there. Uh, giving it full force, shining my light at full capacity there. And uh, they're getting exclusive content that no one will see, as well as advanced previews of stuff that eventually everyone else will see. Because um, I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angela Lions. But you can call me Mal. Hey, <laughs> you try doing that intro every day without making it fun for yourself. Uh, but let's get down to business uh, before we jump into this reading. The overturning of Roe versus Wade has upset the Divine Feminine collectively on this planet uh, quite a bit. So well aware of what's going on on planet Earth, which uh, makes it really important that I say the most important readings that I do on the internet are the five card draw, waxing to waning moon reads, right, what, right, waxing read from new to full, and the seven card draw shadow reads from full to new, because they are about the divine feminine, the lunar energy, the goddess, the feminine, the yin, healing that on the inside, particularly if you are a vibrationally, energetically sensitive empath like I am. Uh, to balance this out. And why am I saying that? Because what we're about to look at in this five card draw is all about your heart's desires. Planting a seed at new moon in Cancer, watching it grow and bloom to the full moon in Capricorn, right? Because your heart's desires were given to you. I know, it sounds weird. We don't choose our heart's desires. They're part of our sacred contracts. Read Carolyn Mace's sacred contracts. Highly recommend it. Um, and they are part of the larger plan. The ineffable plan, right? The uh, universe always has a plan, no matter how anything appears to be that doesn't mean we're we have to like it <laughs> to, at all in order to be emotionally free. It's okay to just get the intuitive hit that this does not resonate with the truth of who I am, right? So that we can uh, really do what we came here to do. And that's what I'm here to do, is to help all of us do what we came here to do, to shift the timelines on this planet from out of lead into gold, out of toxic into healthy, out of pain into peace, out of fear into love, and out of separation into unity. We good? I'm going to leave that there. And if you are new to the channel, watch how the tone changes like that here on YouTube. A five card draw is just one card from five different decks, giving you clues, tips, and hints about a specific astrological timeline. As I said, new to full. We'll talk about that in a moment. These uh, five decks also represent the five magical elements, fire, earth, air, water, and spirit in that order to help you fine tune, refine, align. Uh, your elements for your magic, your spell work, your intentional work, your law of attraction, your manifestational process, your co-creation, you use your language, I'll use mine, that's the whole point of unity, right? One light, infinite ways of looking at it, right? Uh, uh, so that you can manifest uh, your heart's uh, desires. Let's look at the timeline. Uh, new Moon in Cancer, Tuesday, June 28th, 10.52 p.m. That's Eastern Time. I am in New York. And uh, I will be doing uh, some serious New Moon Cancerian Cardinal Water uh, magic as soon as I'm done with the Pisces read after this I'm going in to to do something and I will be doing uh, some magic for my patrons on patreon and you guys will get it probably a couple of days later it's just how it works I mean you got to give some incentive to jump over to the patreon because uh, then we're looking at the two weeks following the waxing the expanding the growing the building the attracting the manifesting pick your words Full Moon in Capricorn, Wednesday, July 13th, 2.37 p.m. So Cardinal Water, Creative Water, Cancer, to Cardinal Earth, uh, Capricorn, 
pretty creative, right? So uh, I'm here to help. And by the way, to get it out of the way, if you want a private reading with me, there's a link in the description box, Booking a Reading with Mel. Explains everything before, during, after. And anybody who's watched it was like, oh, that made it so easy. I'm ready. And then we book it and we're off and running. Good. All right, so it's a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your other signs to get more information about the heart's desire we're about to look at. Or maybe you got more than one, because who don't right now? Uh, so both feet on the floor if you can. Kitty cat's yowling in the background. Focus on your breath, if you will. Uh, considering the, f the feline intervention going on so far in this reading, I will do my best to stay centered and grounded for you and get you the clarity, guidance, and grace to help you do you. And in that... We're all helping each other heal, yeah? Let's hope. Please take a nice deep breath. Here we go. Still point. Shift in consciousness. Here we go. Using uh, the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish, I call to the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism. For the Aquarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, watching this video and receiving this reading, please, beloved ancestors, what is the perfect magical spell card to help them hone and refine their element of fire? What they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire and fulfillment of their soul contracts, right? Their sacred contracts, what they came in to do in this life, as well as for the planetary evolution, the liberation of the divine feminine, whatever you want to say that, the spiritual awakening of it. What's their element of fire? This uh, new two full um, June, July, oh yay. <laughs> 2022 joy Ugh, happy happy joy joy i know it's a, it doesn't feel that way right now on planet earth but this is a two-week period joy as i do will so mote it be let joy and light radiate from me well well that's i'm just gonna say that's lovely that's lovely shining your light at full capacity is our way through here but that takes authenticity and joy is actually the natural state of the soul i know we're not feeling it all of us <laughs> right now so much um but that is the natural state of the soul covered by conditioning and all of that stuff so light is truth so let joy and light radiate from me that's not about you changing who you are that's about you removing the blocks right that's about you shining your light at full capacity your truth your authenticity which then the joy finds its way through Eckhart Tolle power of now go read it it's a good book <laughs> you can find it on audiobook for YouTube for on for free I'm sure Okay. Lovely. Enjoy. I know, totally run and stimping all over that, but you know, <laughs> Generation X. <laughs> what do you want? When I was alive, when it hit the TV, uh, TV screens, let's talk about the element of earth, shall we? The fuel to feed the fire, right? The coal in the oven, however you want to see that. We're going to use the crystal oracle uh, for that. If you have the stone indicated, great. You want the stone indicated, great don't have the stone indicated, it's okay. Clear quartz does everything. Go grab a rock from outside, a piece of jewelry, just something to help you anchor uh, the frequency of the oracle message, right? Just helpful. And my witches know exactly what I'm talking about. Anything can be a magical carrier. A Q-tip can be... <laughs> oh, am I allowed to, 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 to brand name something? <laughs> that wasn't a paid promotion. I'm trying to keep it light. Let's do it. Crystal oracle, element of earth. Please take a nice deep breath. Ah, oh, still point. As I call to my beloved Archangel Ariel, one of the Archangels of the North, powers of Earth, hence the Crystal Oracle. Uh, please, what is the perfect uh, Oracle message, regardless of the stone and the availability to the Aquarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, the perfect Oracle message? Um, for the element of earth, the fuel to feed that fire of joy and to ground and manifest their heart's desire, possibly as a magical carrier, this new to full uh, June, July 2022. <gasps> Rutilated Quartz! Rutilated Quartz! This is the Torch of Archangel Ariel. I nicknamed it Torch Ariel because I do that. It's like blessimation at the end of all my readings. I do a blessing summation, a blessimation. Look at that big old tongue and rutilated quartz. I love rutilated quartz. Plus the Apollo ring is <laughs> really, I should have been a gold lantern. <laughs> Just my calling. Although really, I think I would have been a, um, 
star sapphire, but whatever. Rutilated quartz. Rutilated quartz. Oh, I opened right to it. Here we go. I think you're going to love this. My air signs. Vibrational healing, higher mind, and reconciliation. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> you are subconsciously receiving loving vibrations and loving thoughts from someone connected to your past. Womp womp. Uh, an episode or conflict that hurt you emotionally is now being healed and reconciled by the power of forgiveness and unconditional love. Now, I'm familiar with this oracle message. It doesn't mean there has to be a face-to-face. Because -face. what if someone has crossed over? Right? Reconciliation can happen in a multidimensional way. Over the coming days, you may find yourself emotionally and mentally reciprocating this love as you reflect on a person or past event. Now, get that this is not about saying what they did is okay, but it is about you healing. And as you heal, we all heal. Right? We are all in this together. Uh, through this mutual exchange of love, past wounds are now energetically being healed and all negative attachments resolved and release. That's pretty cool. And, and like we said, the core of who we are is joy. I know, it doesn't feel that way. It's like, feels closer to the dishwashing liquid than the actual state of being, right? Uh, but Dawn takes grease out of your way. Uh, uh, product placement? No. No. So, that there is reconciliation, that there is vibrational healing, and that the higher mind, which is the, the truth of the higher self, spirit, soul, personality, ego, right? So higher self, right? Uh, uh, God, goddess, uh, 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 immortal, uh, hero's journey, human body. This is about the, the truth of who you are. See, time is tricky because to the, um, the human, the ego self, it's the enemy. I did a video on this, uh, a spell for time. Check it out. It's in the. It's on the channel. Uh, uh, the soul sees time as an ally. So got enemy, ally. Personality has to choose in between the two. But the higher self knows it's all an illusion, right? That there is no time. All incarnations and timelines happen simultaneously. Why? Right. So that's why when we try and figure it out purely from an ego point of view, the ego can't forgive. The ego can't reconcile. It has to unravel. But the personality, the hero on the journey, has to choose. That's your job. Wow. Wow. Past life, this life, does it matter? Let's reconcile and heal for our own well-being. And let, let the, the Akashic Records figure out the rest. They got lawyers. Please take a deep breath. Still point. As we turn to the element of air with the healing with the angels, Oracle, two ways to take the message here, usually, and usually both are true in a general read. Uh, what is the element of air, right? The, to think about, to read about, to research, to find in, uh, different and original meanings of the words uh, to fulfill the element of air for the Aquarian Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, watching this video, receiving this reading, as well as the healing angels waiting to come in at their call uh, to help them heal in some way, shape, or form with this element of air, to stoke that element of fire, of joy, what they yearn for, what they burn for, with their heart's desire, with that rutilated quartz, higher vibrational healing, right? Higher mind, seeing it from a place of unity and reconciliation. The element of air to stoke that fire this new to full you guys got the romance angels it's in the title how that's not clickbait <laughs> you literally got the romance card well well the angels of air the sign of uh, aquarius powers of the east you are dealing with a romantic reconciliation with rutilated quartz it's an awful lot of alliteration don't you think i do uh ra -ra -ra -ra. well then it would make sense um, that your heart would be healed and not so burdened healing that stuff. You know, I look back at my rogues gallery of toxic divine masculines I've dated. I'm a gay male, if you can't tell. Ooh, check those batteries in the gaydar if you can't tell. Uh, uh, it's all good, <laughs> in, in my neighborhood at least, where I live. Um, the healing angels of romance are helpful because they get it. 
they got it. They're like, romance is one of the hardest mastery lessons ever on planet Earth. First of all, romance wasn't always on the planet, by the way. Really came in, like, even the, the romantics, right? The troubadours of this 14th century-ish, right? Before that, it was all about survival. It was like the, the, the son from the Carrot family, Captain Carrot, and the daughter from the Potato family, right? They didn't even have to like each other. They just married them together so that you had the Carrot Potato family, right? Like, it was all about survival. Very tribal, but very second chakra. Well, romance isn't even second chakra. It's heart chakra. Yes, there's romantic attraction going on here. But, and, and as irrelevant as it may seem uh, with what's going on on planet Earth to heal our romantic issues, I gotta tell ya, if your heart's desire is to be in a state of joy, in healthy romance, how could that not heal the planet? How could that not heal the masculine feminine toxicity imbalance on this planet? Regardless of who you're attracted to, love is love. Oof, they're having fun with me today, aren't they? Woo! Mysticism for fun and profit. Uh, let's look at the element of water, obviously. We've got a very emotional uh, element of fire here with joy, with that reconciliation and that the uh, higher vibe healing with the healing angels of romance. Remember, you got to call them in. They don't come unless you call. Uh, so let's see what the element of water here is. The Whispers of Love Oracle. Uh, the higher selves of all involved, which means you. And this might be more than one person if you've had... Gee, have you had more than one heartbreak romantically in this life and in others? Really? No, just the one? <laughs> sure. Sure, Marge. Let's see what hits the table. Please take a nice deep breath. Oh, still point. As I call upon uh, the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, uh, eighth chakra and above, what is the whisper of love for the Aquarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video and receiving this reading, the piece of information, inspiration, insight they need, the element of water and the uh, energy and motion we experience as emotion in a physical body so that they can put the juice into this, open their heart into this with joy in their element of fire, rutilated quartz in the earth, healing angels of romance uh, in their element of air. What's the element of water to fuel this? Uh, this uh, new to full June, July 2022. Speak the language of love. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. Now look, rutilated quartz ain't that hard to find, and even if you don't get it before the new moon, don't worry about it. Find a piece. It's not that expensive. Uh, this was gifted to me. And, you know, I've been using it as a magical tool. Let's leave it at that. Uh, a totem of my personal archangelic lineage. Uh, to do exactly what this indicates, right? To do that vibrational healing and recon to reconcile things energetically, even if you never see or speak to the person again. Remember, some people uh, are no longer on the planet. Obviously, uh, they'll come back. <laughs> they'll come back if they need to. I hope I don't have to come back unless they do something better with dark chocolate in, uh, in the future than maybe. Mm. Uh, definitely coming back as a woman. Uh, definitely coming back as a woman. hundred years from now, if I'm gonna, that's why, you know, hopefully this digital material is to be around, I'll be able to pick up where I left off. Selfish? Yeah, higher selfish. Look, speaking the language of love is key right now, but it starts at home. It starts within yourself. It starts by saying, look, the, the romantic path of true love, the romantic aspect of the path of divine love, true love, is a, a hero's journey. And the course of true love never did run smooth. And how much truth and love have you experienced in this lifetime reciprocally, right? A lot to heal there. Um, so speaking the language of love to yourself in this mantra, the next card down is probably going to give you a lot more there. How to choose that loving language for yourself first. Yeah. Because it has to start within. It has to. Okay. 
the Healing Mantra deck by Matt Kahn, the card of spirit, the voltage, right? The mantra, right? So grab some rutilated quartz or something uh, similar, right? Cast for joy, calling in the healing angels of romance, prepared to speak the language of love where you are in the moment, even. Uh, the power to change someone's life, including your own. And it is saying that the words you kind of speak, even silently in prayer and meditation, maybe just to your own heart, is vibrationally healing all sorts of stuff. And I'm feeling for a lot of us, I don't know about for all of us, but this might be retroactively healing romantic stuff that we've all had to do in the past, even though I have no planets and aquariums. I've dated a crap ton of you. Freaks. I love you. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Still point. As I call upon the Ascended Masters of Romance, you guys told me which department right before I start shuffling. The Ascended Masters of Romance, which that's got to be quite a clubhouse y'all hang out with after hours. Uh, please, one card in clarity, the perfect healing mantra fixed air, right? So that the, the Aquarians can fix their air, fix their mind uh, on the perfect healing mantra, the element of spirit for the Aquarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading so they can manifest this joy. There, what they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts to desire as the result of putting this reconciliation, this higher mind, this vibrational healing into play of their own free will, the calling in the healing angels of romance and the element of air to help them with that and speaking the language of love, give it to us right between the, th right in the third eye, what's uh, uh, the perfect healing mantra for them, this new to full. Illuminating the truth, I am willing to see things clearly no matter the outcome. Now, just a little side note, I'll read it from the book. book. This is my clairvoyant mantra, because clairvoyant means to see clearly. I am willing to see things clearly, no matter the outcome. Imagine everybody on planet Earth getting that all at once. That's possible. But what it takes is for us to do it to ourselves. How loving are these words? I am willing, third chakra, to see things, third eye, as clearly, uh, see things clearly, no matter the outcome. And that's the thing. Uh, quantum outcomes and timelines are shifting so fast, right? Now you can blink your eyes and be in a different timeline. Well, speaking the language of love, I would say particularly using this mantra, you're going to see through a lot of lies, illusions, deceptions, and delusions, and maybe ones you don't want to cop to, like where we did not see things so clearly. Now, if that's not a sin, that's a misperception, and misperceptions are meant to be corrected right? The sun does not rise in the east and set in the west. I know, don't cancel me. No, the planet turns on an axis, right? Only looks that way. So perception is not always vision. It's not always truth. Of course, a miracles <laughs> work. Let me read it. Let me read it. Illuminating the truth, darling. Oh, how fabulous. Oh, darling. Uh, illuminating the, the truth, sweetie darling. I am willing to see things clearly no matter the outcome. That's a good mantra and a good mudra with it. I am willing to see things clearly no matter the outcome. When the truth is illuminated, you're no longer willing to settle for opinions. <laughs> it's timely. But instead, yearn for a direct reflection that can shift fear and, hap and apprehension into higher vibrations of acceptance. Now, acceptance doesn't mean you have to like it, but you could say, you know, no, this sucks, and I accept that this sucks. I don't like where this is headed, or I, I still don't like the way things went, right? This healing, this is probably more about the past here, waxing your joy by doing the healing work here and seeing it clearly. Um, so rather than, well, what if that happened? Or what if that happened? It says, well, uh, well, what is? Show me what is and let me take it from there. In the illumination of truth, it doesn't matter how much life gets inconvenienced or disrupted. Instead, the recognition of fact versus falsehood allows you to move past the shattering of expectations to commune with the reality just beyond the horizon of your ingrained ideas. In other words, we can't see past what we want the outcomes to be unless we are willing to see things clearly. To understand there's always a higher truth. There's always a higher point of view. I don't know that that stops until we merge in the divine singularity of OM, because there's no place like it. 
Uh, and of course there's a reality beyond our ingrained ideas, right? We're all one. Love is the answer. We know these things, but we're not experiencing it because we expect that to look a certain way and unfold in a certain timeline the way we want it to be. But we rarely get what we want unless it's absolutely what we need. Uh, this mantra is ideal for recovering from betrayal. I have no planets in Aquarius, but I do feel like I do now. Uh, healing abandonment and dealing with distrust. Roe versus Wade overturned anybody? And look, I, I, I am pro-choice. <laughs> I've been on this planet over and over and over again. I know death ain't the end, <laughs> right? We're immortal souls. That's my take on it. You do you, blessed be. But to be able to be really, really clear on what your truth is here, is going to heal you romantically, at least on the level of the mind, and do some reconciliation. So, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Since the anger and rage of the Divine Feminine towards the toxic Divine Masculine, not that all Divine Masculine energy is toxic, mind you, uh, at all, uh, but certainly it's time for it to heal, or we all are going down together. <coughs> um, the more that you, that, that you do this, uh, uh, certainly the more you are helping everyone on planet Earth. So I'm going to do the, bl the, the blessimation. I'm going to put it together in a blessing, uh, in a bit of a summary here. Then we'll chat a little bit at the end, and uh, let's, uh, we'll release the reading together with, a, with this blessing. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. as I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for the Aquarian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, watching this video, receiving this reading, may they be blessed with all that they need to do this uh, rather powerful and I think impactful healing for themselves and for the well-being of all as they illuminate the truth in and to the extent that they are willing to see things clearly, no matter the outcome, and to speak the language of love to themselves in prayer, in meditation, as mantra, and then allowing that to flow outwards, calling upon the healing angels of romance. And maybe there is some external communication here because it's element of air. Maybe there is some uh, healing, some mental, some therapy, some prayer, some forgiveness, some resolution here with that rose, uh, rutilated quartz, reconciliation, vibrational healing, and the higher mind being in charge of all of it, so that the Aquarians can manifest the joy that they yearn for, that they burn for, what their hearts desire. As I do will, so mote it be. Let joy and light radiate from me for the well-being of all and with harm to none as we will it so let it be done so let it be and so it is I really want this for you I want this for everybody because you know what if everybody had healthy romance, like all of a sudden showing up in their lives, this world would balance out PDQ because everyone would be too busy making out, <laughs> right? Oh, unity, bam, overnight, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it? So did it make sense to you? Did it click for you? Hit the thumbs up, right? Just, it affects the algorithm. It helps other people find the video, whatever. I'm not monetized on YouTube anymore anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, except that I want to get my work out there to the world. And if you want more of me here on YouTube, just subscribe and hit the notification bell because I put these out when they're ready to go. I'm doing this way before I usually start recording because I got new moon stuff to do. But if you want to go for the deeper, if you want the exclusive, if you want this previews of stuff that the rest of the world will eventually see, come see me at my best and at my very blessed over on Patreon, patreon.com slash drawing the circle humans, heroes, angels, witches, immortals, gods, goddesses are my subscription tiers over there, my levels of subscription. Uh, help me help the world. Help me help you. Help me help each other, right? Uh, and come Patreon on Patreon. Otherwise, like I said, you know how to book me for a reading. Booking a reading with now, link in the description box explains everything for you, just like Clarissa. Otherwise, I love you. Hang in there. Heal this romantic stuff, even if that speaking the language of love is in silence to yourself. Have at it. I love you. 
hell, farewell, and blessed, blessed be. 